Now, if you're a woman of a certain age, get ready to cringe because new extensive research confirms what we already know, that women, particularly older women, are discriminated against in the workplace. That comes from the National... That, that was good. Right, applaud because you know it. I thought you said, yeah, that's great. Okay, it's, that comes out of research from the National Bureau of Economic Research, and there's just a strong bias against older job applicants in general, men and women, but particularly women. We were talking about this right. this morning, and I said, I asked the executives, I go, did you know how old all of us were when we were, you know, coming in to audition for the panel? And I said, I was nervous because I was 40, and I said, I didn't know if they wanted a 40-year-old mom on this show. And you guys said age wasn't a question, which I applaud you guys, but going into jobs, I'm, I've am always been nervous. About about your I've lied about everyone when I was a young producer. People, I would lie about my late age all the time because they want to take me seriously. I was a 24 and I was a yeah. senior producer and they didn't take me seriously, so I said I was like 30. Yeah. Well, really? I, yes. them for this. I aged up versus yeah, yeah. aging down, and so I don't the converse. Industry, it's, it's terrible. I mean, actually, in the entertainment industry as a whole, but I know music, it is a young person's game. I mean, you look at the top people. It's Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, the Jonases, you know, that type of stuff. One Direction. Once you're in the 30s, there's anomalies, but, I mean, it's over. I mean, it is completely over. I, you know, look at look at the Backstreet Boys. They've been doing music since, you know, f every year since they've been together. See, until you and they talk get to me played. about that, yeah. I didn't yeah. even realize they were still performing yeah, on a regular exactly, basis. because yeah. Boys to Men, all these people, Because they don't still, market them. They don't want to market. Don't, they don't like to people. play them on radio. I mean, I had a single come out, you know, last year that was number one all over the world. America wouldn't even play it. So maybe, I don't know if it's just our country that is very age discriminatory. Which we didn't know that about you. Yeah. We didn't hear it. Well, we haven't no heard it. No one did, because yeah. they We need to play it. I think it's also a big deal. And, and some of the things that you wouldn't think age. Because, like, with music, you know, you think kind of young. I'm not saying, you know, Lance and I, I think, are, like, the same age, but never tell your age, because I'm telling people I'm 21. Um, I'm around you know, I'm around No, I'm 12. I told them I was 12. I haven't got my period yet. Um, but, <laughs> you know, and something, like, even with comedy, when you think it has nothing to do with, like, looks or age and stuff, there's a lot of ageism there. It's, like, a lot of, you know, the young kids are getting the work and, like, the older you are, and which I think is crazy, because you get better as a comic the more life experience you have and the older you get, you can talk to people. Well, you experience this. And we, yeah. keep saying, we keep saying 30, like, you lie to 30, or, like, people in their 30s, like, what about, like, women, you know, in, our, in your 50s and your 60s and even your 70s? You have entire lifetime of history and education. I see my mother-in-law, you know, she didn't even go back to college until she had her second baby, my husband. And since then, she went on and, you know, she got her PhD. She's a professor at Wharton. And that happened to her so late yeah. in her life. And she sees the struggle that other women have. And she's really committed her life to making these opportunities available sure. to older women. But I think well, we get better with age. Well, I think yeah, we get like, I mean, more I, confident. Like I've never yes. lied about my age. I'm I've always been very comfortable. I mean, six, I'll be 62 in December. I'm yeah. very, I feel good about it. It beats being dead. Um, <laughs> I love a birthday. And I've told the story a million times, but the only time in this business where somebody brought up my age was, I'm not going to name the job, but it was when I was up, my contract was up, and they wanted me to resign, and they said you could never get another job at your age. Mm -hmm. Which is appalling. Which was, that's when I put my dukes up, yeah. and I said, oh, yeah, yeah. and here I am, yeah. baby. Yeah. Is no longer in the business. All right, you guys excited about Halloween? I've already got like the orange pants on. Yeah. So we went over to this haunted house. Uh, it's called Times Scare in Times Square to get the panel all ready for this. And uh, we're going to give you a little sneak peek at what happened. Oh my gosh. God. Let's see. Join me here. You break <laughs> Yamanika, I'm so scared she's going to do something in her pants. She already threatened me. She said, I am not coming to work tomorrow if this thing goes south. All right. You came to work, but it was scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. crying? Are you okay? I was crying. Did I have bruises? It's. I... Wait a second. You have bruises? I have a bruise on my face from when you threw me into the wall last night. <laughs> <Is that what? laughs> with her. Wait till you guys see this. These three that don't believe in ghosts and, like, go on. Her and I are throwing together. I was manhandled and pushed out of the way because of you. I'm going to die. I'm going to put a protection. You're like my exactly. seeing eye oh, dog. I, like, have my eyes closed. Right. There's, well, the goblin, there's the goblin. There's the goblin. I've never the laughed so much. I mean, my, my stomach hurts from laughing yeah. the whole time. Well, but this, this Friday, girl... you're going to see the whole tape. Ooh. So it's something it's fun for our Halloween show. All right. In this show, actually, you're going to meet a military mom who served in Iraq. Now, she has no idea, but we have a big surprise reunion planned for her. Three of the captains, captains that she served with are here, and the four of them have not been together in 10 years. So this is going to mean a lot to her. You know what? I, I love 
our reunion. Yeah. I think reunions are so right. They're yeah, just yeah. there's something very special about them. Yes. You never know when they're going to occur. They're, I don't know. Like a surprise. Right? Yeah, like a surprise. Yeah. In fact, we have one right now. Come on out. Are you? As you were saying that, I was just going through my head. I'm like, oh, what a fun, like, in sync reunion would be so yeah, much fun yeah. right now. And then Joey comes out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Funny. Uh, we get a lot more with Joey. He's sticking around.